Well, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've just pulled up in a little town called Walker. It's probably the coldest town in Australia, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to uh, Split Rock Dam. Just wanted to check uh, hubs, tyres. And I uh, just did a quick post. Um, today marks a, a special day for me, for my boy, um, who I lost seven years ago um to suicide and um he's the person i um i named this channel uh for good game he coined the phrase so um thinking of him today um so yeah um pretty special day um just remember guys uh, all those blokes out there it ain't weak to speak all right guys um we're just gonna head west gonna head to tamworth uh, pull up there get some fuel and then head out to um, split rock dam we'll talk to you soon see you guys all righty we got it split rock just got some firewood got the chainsaw out and got a bit of firewood up on the roof there i'll um i brought the axe with me so i'll split that when we get back to camp <clears throat> and um yeah that'll be good little bit of uh, warmth because I think <laughs> temperature is going to get down to about two or three overnight which is that's yeah, cool but um yeah I mean it'll certainly bring um bring the cot out to play hopefully hopefully they're on and um yeah we'll um uh, we'll give those a good run um got a heap of lures from um from Plasman and they've even dropped in some uh some stickers there and um some small and and, and um large stickers um, they've given me instructions on their range. Um, looks pretty comprehensive, to, to be honest. Like there's a there's a shitload of lures in there. So thanks again, boys. I uh, look forward to uh, getting something on the bike, especially on the trees. I'm looking forward to using that black grub you got in there. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go with that today. All right, we'll check in with you later, guys. Set up. I'll just show you around a little bit and um, show you through the kitchen. So, got the uh, kitchen here, which is a uh, all set up in here. Everything's out. Got some lights up here and the, on the top and around the sides. Got some lights down there, which are um, they're actually uh, getting the last of the sun. So, water on tap. Got some more lights down here. Um, chair there we've got all their wood um, cut up a little bit of wood um, got some bigger ones there which hopefully they'll um i'll just burn straight out i don't I'm not too sure if they're green they look fairly fairly good to burn the uh the tree i cut it out of was um quite quite old there was no leaves anywhere on it so um uh that's a good sign i think it's been down at least one season so We'll see how that burns anyway, but um, yeah, everything's set up here. Got the boat out the front. It's not not a place where I want it at the moment. It's um, it's a little bit shallow there, so I've got to try and um, bring it in sort of over here somewhere and bring it up on the on the bank and tie it off on that stump. 
But uh, yeah, at the moment, everything's looking pretty good. I've got the, the tent up. The tent up, we'll go around the other side and show you. Bins, bottles, rubbish. There's those, what's the names? I've uh, got the solar panel out, just a, another extra 200 watts. There is one on the top of the of the uh, rooftop tent. That's the Drifter Stockman uh, Wildlands tent. Um, comfortable as. So I think I might be just leaning forward a little bit so I'll see uh, I'll see how that goes tonight if I need to readjust I'll do that tomorrow so I reckon I can put up with one bad bad night's sleep and have two good ones I reckon so all right so um yeah all set up then we might think about doing something for dinner um I'm thinking snag something easy tonight so um yeah that might be the go sausages snags on bread okay we'll see how we go guys how good is this glass off it's gonna be a good weekend Good morning everyone what a cold night I think I got down to about two but it felt like it was like minus five had a little bit of wind chill factor um, I slept okay um, got a little bit cold during the night that was only because the top sheet the top blanket came away um, in the wildlands but other than that uh, I didn't sleep too bad at all so a bit of a fog out here this morning on the water that wind's um, still a bit choppy I'm just hoping that glass is out during the day um, I'm gonna do some breakfast now I'll do some bacon and eggs on a roll and uh, make myself a nice coffee as well so uh, right oh, let's get into that eh Righto, we're away. I'm going to put the active target down. <coughs> and um, I'm also going to get some stink. Yeah, so we're running the Samaki Zing Extreme 7 foot uh, 2 um, with the uh, Daiwa Accela uh, 2500 and um, I've got 10 pound J braid on there um, with a 10 pound FC Rock uh, leader as well and um, I've got a TT jig head TT jig head in the black big eye and we're running the um, Plasman soft plastics uh, black black um, 
curl tail fish. Okay, got some lights there now. We just drop the range down to 40 foot. Fish there, fish there right in the middle. He looks like a cod. Let's see how he likes this black. Be another beautiful day split rock down. Sun's just starting to come up. A bit fresh. So, clear skies. Okay. Uh, update. Cold as hell on the boat. Um, so uh, I'm not going to be casting anything, I've got the gloves on, it's freezing this morning. So I'm going to, we've um, got some uh, deep divers out. So I've got the, uh, the big swim bait rod there with a, a big deep diver on. He goes to about 15 foot and then I've got uh, my cod rod over here which is, um, he's probably down around 12 foot. So. Um, we can see how we go. We'll roll around for a little bit this morning and see if we can't get something uh, on the boat. I'd like to go home with a um, with a new PB if uh, if possible. So we'll see how we go, guys. I'll give you an update later on this morning. <laughs>
Kahulua. Nice fat healthy cod. Split rock, you probably go, I don't know, 45, 40 maybe. Healthy little fella. We'll put him back and keep going, eh? So I was just dropping on this tree here in this bay and um, it looked pretty good for yellows but um, I got myself a little cod. Um, I'll just hold him up a bit better. A very juvenile cod. Um, I got him on the um, on the black phantom black curl tail um, curl tail fish now I've cut him down I've cut him down I've taken the head off him you see because I'm using the the TT jig head there so maybe that's um, that was what interested him he just took off after it and bang I could see him on the active target he was uh, he was all over it so yeah there you go <laughs> probably one of the smallest cods I've ever caught so uh, but anyway that's just um, justification there for the uh, for the plasman um, curl tail fish um, in the phantom black so um, anyway we'll get this guy back and uh, get back on the tree morning everyone last day it's a bit cool winds up um, yeah the day looks um, pretty different today what it was in the last couple of days it's um, it's blowing uh, out of the east out of the northeast and uh, pretty choppy conditions got the fire on i'm gonna cook up my last breakfast on the on the plate right now i'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee sit back and just chill for a bit before i start packing up and um heading home so i'll do a sign off once we um, get all packed up yeah give you a wrap up of the weekend so thanks guys so about here guys i'll be giving you a rundown of the weekend and a sign off but I left my GoPro in hyperlapse mode while I was videoing this segment. So it didn't happen. Really good weekend at Split Rock Dam. I enjoyed it. I've never camped there before. It's a great little spot to camp. So I'll be definitely going back. Just the two cod for the weekend. I spoke to a few people around the dam and they said that they struggled to get anything. Yellow belly were very quiet. There was nothing on the trees. And I think that's just winter for yellow bellies. For me, it was about the camp though. I really enjoyed just chilling out, lighting a fire and just enjoying the weekend. Thanks heaps for joining us on this one, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so and we'll see you on the water soon.